Hi, what's up guys? Jamil FIFA Gaming is here with you and I'm going to tell you what is the best formation to choose to play using Real Madrid in FIFA 20 especially after the latest version and update of FIFA the 1.25 So we choose the formation as the 4-2-3-1 wide it's the best formation that suits the needs of your player and the ability of your players and for me it's the best formation in FIFA 24 this year we go to the tactics okay for the defense we choose pressure on heavy touch what does it mean when the attacking team has the ball your player will or your AI system in FIFA will choose the perfect timing for your players to press the ball holder and make a tackle or cut the ball and go on a counter attack if you choose press, uh, press after possession lost you will lose your defending shape your your system system in defense so it's better to choose pressure on heavy touch constant pressure you will go far away from your penalty area and you will put a lot of pressure on the ball holder but you will receive a lot of attacking games especially if you couldn't cut the ball uh, as a drop back you will play like Diego Simeone uh, with Atletico Madrid you give the ball for the opponent and way to go on counter attacks balance and pressure on heavy touch are similar but differ just in the AI system that choose the player to go and press on the ball holder and cut the ball so I prefer pressure on heavy touch uh, for the width of your team in the defend defense we choose six why because the attacking team can play easy game on the two sides of the field this is FIFA 20 so we choose to be wide but still have two players in the center the depth I prefer to be on five not so far away from our penalty area not so close so we can receive a lot of play so five you will cut the ball when you can and it's hard to get some through balls in your back or the back of your defenders for the offense i prefer to choose balance balance is similar to position you will play a lot of passes a lot of triangles and squares but with one Thing that is better than position the player will go and make wide runs uh, runs behind the defender in the position if you choose position you will need to trigger the player using L1 tell him to go and make forward runs but in balance the AI system will tell the player and tell him when is the best time to make this forward run and where is the best space in the field to go to the width of your attack to keep it on four you need your players to always have a free player to receive the ball and to help you especially in FIFA 20 it's hard for the gamers to to make a lot of passes a lot of dribbling because of the defending in FIFA so with on four player in the box on four you need two players no more one player on the edge of the box for shots it's good to keep it on four corners and free kicks as two uh, to avoid lot of counter attacks here we go to the squad so I'm going to do choose my squad depending on the instructions of the players Karim Benzema as a striker Eden Hazard as central attacking midfield Casemiro and Modric as two 
central defense midfield uh, Vinicius Jr. and Marco Asensio as right winger and left winger Carvajal, Varan, Ramos, Mendy and Courtois. I will tell you later every choice and every player why to choose this player. We go to the instruction. Let's start from Thibaut Courtois. Thibaut Courtois is a tall goalkeeper, great goalkeeper with air balls. So we choose to come for crosses. He can catch a lot of air balls. And trust me, you will avoid a lot of goals using these tactics and sweeper keeper. So if you are receiving some counter attack with long ball, he will go and wipe all the area just like Neuer we go to Carvajal and Mendy no let's start with Karim Benzema stay central get in behind stay forward why stay central you don't need your striker your only striker to make runs to the right or to the left you need him to stay central you can depend on him you can give him long balls and crosses and he can make some runs behind the defenders or he can pass or play one two with Asensio Vinicius or Hazard so you need your striker in you in the central between the center backs of the opponent team get in behind as for you have three very skilled players you need your striker to go and occupy the free space waiting for some through ball or long ball from Hazard, Asensio and Vinicius Jr. and stay forward you need your striker to stay forward for the counter attacks go to Eden Hazard stay forward just as Karim Benzema you need him for counter attacks get into the box for cross you need him to play as the second striker be behind Benzema he will do his role as a playmaker or central attacking midfield and the second striker and free fro free roam he has uh, freedom to go and run and receive the ball get behind the defenders uh, so he will be free why we choose Eden Hazard Eden Hazard's skill moves are so high attacking or create high high shooting high passing high dribbling he's a great player you will lose some of his skills if he played as a left winger I prefer him as second attacker as his role in Chelsea we go to Marco Asensio come back on defense both Marco Asensio and Vinicius Jr. come back on defense it's important to choose this option because the attacking team will pass your midfield because the two midfielders here Modric and Casemiro will occupy the center of the of the field the two sidelines will be free for attacking with more players than your defenders so they will win they will go past your defense so you choose come back on defense to hold the attackers to hold the left back and the right back of the of the attacking team the opponent as for Vinicius Jr., we all know he's so fast, he can make runs behind the defenders, so we choose cut inside, he will be inside the box but will not distract Benzema, and here Benzema, as we choose to stay central, he has option to give balls to Vinicius Jr. and finish them with a goal get behind his fast player you need him to go make wide runs or runs inside the box and get in the box for cross so he is ready to for some shooting or headers 
after crosses come from Hazard or Asensio. We go to Marco Asensio, we choose here free roam. What does free roam do? As free roam here in this formation will allow Asensio to make runs close to Hazard. Hazard. He will occupy the space between the defenders and the midfields. He will go inside your box, he will go near Casimiro to receive balls, near Carvajal and near Hazard, he will play a very good one to playing between Hazard and Asensio and he's a great shooter, high, high skills, dribbling skills, good shoots and he's fast of course and as support runs come short so he can receive the ball and to be as a playmaker. His role will be similar to Di Maria in Real Madrid uh, Champions League 2014. So I guess it's the best instructions that suits Asensio and suits this right winger. We go to Casemiro and Duca Modric, the boss cut passing lanes, both cover center, told you before that the space between the defender and the midfielders is used, so you need your two midfielders to stay in the center of your field to try to cut the balls. And here for Casemiro, stay back while attacking, he will stay back, try to stop all the counter attacks, his role will be similar to Sergio Busquets with Barcelona. And aggressive interceptions, the AI will tell him to go and try to cut the ball in the decisive time of the game of or of the attack and cover center. Luka Modric, cut passing lanes, get forward or you can keep him on balanced the ai system will trigger luka modus to make forward runs you don't need him to get inside your box you have many players inside your box and enough players inside your box luka modus will stay on the edge of the box try to cut the balls and retrieve the balls and play some through balls and through passes for asensio or vinicius junior and here cover center. Why we choose Modric over Tony Cross? Modric is faster, he's better in defense, his work rate here we can see his attacking work rate is high, defensive work rate is high. Tony Cross is medium on both attacking and defensive. He's better in dribbling, faster defending. Tony Cross is just better in passings and long pass, so Luka Modric, but it's a good change in the mm, after the second half to have Tony Cross in your team. Okay, here we go to Ferland Mendy. Why would choose Ferland Mendy over uh, Marcelo? Again, Ferland Mendy is fast, has a uh, the ability to go past a defender he's strong he's good with air balls so as defender he's better than marcello and he can stop a lot of counter attacks especially that he will make a lot of forward runs so we put him on join the attack and inverted why inverted not overlap uh, vinicius jr here will be occupying the left side for the ball so Mendy will help he will be close to Luka Modric with his runs and he can go inside the box and as for Carvajal join the attack and overlap overlap he will play as right winger he will receive the balls near the corner and make some crosses he will and he will go back as for tonight this is our formation squad and instruction 
hope you like this video thank you for joining me and i will see you again on jamil fifa gaming